One of the most important aspects of choosing the right vase for your flowers is to match the vase shape and size with the flower type and arrangement. This will ensure that your floral display looks balanced, harmonious, and beautiful. Here are some tips on how to do that. First, consider the height of your flowers. You want to choose a vase that is about half or two-thirds the height of your flowers, so that they don't look too short or too tall in relation to the vase. If your flowers have long stems, you can trim them to fit the vase, or use a tall and narrow vase to show off their elegance. If your flowers have short stems, you can use a low and wide vase to create a fuller and more compact arrangement. Second, consider the shape of your flowers. You want to choose a vase that complements the shape of your flowers, not clashes with it. For example, if your flowers have round and fluffy blooms, such as roses, peonies or hydrangeas, you can use a round or oval vase to echo their shape. If your flowers have slender and spiky blooms, such as lilies, irises or gladioli, you can use a square or rectangular vase to contrast their shape. Third, consider the style of your arrangement. You want to choose a vase that suits the style of your arrangement, whether it is formal or casual, simple or elaborate, symmetrical or asymmetrical. For example, if your arrangement is formal and symmetrical, you can use a classic and elegant vase, such as a glass or crystal vase with a smooth and shiny surface. If your arrangement is casual and asymmetrical, you can use a rustic and quirky vase, such as a ceramic or metal vase with a textured and matte surface. Fourth, consider the color of your flowers and vase. You want to choose a vase that enhances the color of your flowers, not distracts from it. For example, if your flowers have bright and vibrant colors, such as red, yellow, or purple, you can use a clear or neutral colored vase to let them stand out. If your flowers have soft and muted colors, such as white, pink, or blue, you can use a colored or patterned vase to add some interest and contrast. By following these tips on how to match the vase shape and size with the flower type and arrangement, you will be able to choose the right vase for your flowers and create a stunning floral display that will impress everyone who sees it. One of the most important aspects of choosing the right vase for your flowers is the color and material of the vase. The color and material of the vase should complement your decor and style, not clash with it. Here are some tips on how to choose the right vase color and material for your decor and style. Consider the color scheme of your room. You want to choose a vase color that matches or contrasts with the dominant colors of your room. For example, if you have a blue and white room, you can choose a blue vase, a white vase, or a blue and white vase. Avoid choosing a vase color that is too similar or too different from the colors of your room, as it will look out of place or distracting. Consider the material of your vase. You want to choose a vase material that suits the mood and theme of your room. For example, if you have a rustic or farmhouse style room, you can choose a vase made of wood, metal, or ceramic. If you have a modern or minimalist style room, you can choose a vase made of glass, metal, or plastic. Avoid choosing a vase material that is too fancy or too plain for your room, as it will look mismatched or boring. Consider the shape and size of your vase. You want to choose a vase shape and size that balances with the shape and size of your flowers and your room. For example, if you have tall and slender flowers, you can choose a tall and slender vase. If you have short and wide flowers, you can choose a short and wide vase. Avoid choosing a vase shape and size that is too big or too small for your flowers and your room, as it will look disproportionate or awkward. Consider the texture and pattern of your vase. You want to choose a vase texture and pattern that adds some interest and variety to your room. For example, if you have a plain and simple room, you can choose a vase with some texture or pattern to create some contrast and focal point. If you have a busy and colorful room, you can choose a vase with a smooth or solid texture to create some harmony and calmness. Avoid choosing a vase texture and pattern that is too similar or too different from the texture and pattern of your room as it will look bland or chaotic. These are some of the tips on how to choose the right vase color and material for your decor and style. 
Remember that the vase is not only a container for your flowers, but also an accessory for your room. By choosing the right vase color and material, you can enhance the beauty and personality of your flowers and your room. One of the most important aspects of choosing the right vase for your flowers is how to clean and maintain it properly. A dirty vase can not only ruin the appearance of your floral arrangement, but also shorten the lifespan of your flowers by harboring bacteria and fungi. In this section, I will show you some easy and effective ways to clean and maintain your vase to prevent mold, stains, or cracks. The first step is to always rinse your vase with cold or lukewarm water after removing the flowers. This will help remove any loose dirt or debris that may have accumulated inside. You can also use a sponge, bottle brush, or old toothbrush to scrub the inside and outside of the vase gently. The next step is to choose a cleaning agent that suits your vase material and the type of stain you want to remove. There are many options available, but here are some of the most common ones. For glass vases, you can use baking soda and vinegar, salt and vinegar, denture tablets, or heated vinegar. These methods are great for removing stubborn white stains and residue caused by hard water minerals or flower sap. To use baking soda and vinegar, fill your vase with warm water and add one or two tablespoons of baking soda and white vinegar. The mixture will fizz and eat away at the stains. Leave it for two to four hours and then scrub with a brush or cloth. To use salt and vinegar, mix a tablespoon of salt with white vinegar until it forms a paste. Apply the paste to the stained areas with a cloth or brush and leave for 30 minutes. Then scrub lightly and rinse well. To use denture tablets, fill your vase with water and drop in one or two tablets depending on the size of the vase. Leave it overnight and then shake well in the morning to remove the stains. To use heated vinegar, boil or warm enough vinegar to fill your vase and pour it into the vase. Let it soak for 24 hours and then scrub with warm soapy water. For ceramic vases, you can use dish soap, bleach, or rice and dishwashing liquid. These methods are good for removing dirt, grease, or mildew from your vase. To use dish soap, simply wash your vase with warm water and a few drops of dish soap. Rinse well and dry with a soft cloth. To use bleach, Mix one part bleach with 10 parts water and pour it into the vase. Leave it for two to four hours and then scrub with a brush. Wash with soapy water and rinse well. To use rice and dishwashing liquid, crush some eggshells into small pieces and add them to your vase with a bit of water. Cover the opening with your hand and shake well to scour the stains. Dispose of the eggshells before using the vase again. For metal vases, you can use lemon juice, ketchup, or vinegar and salt. These methods are effective for removing tarnish, rust, or oxidation from your vase. To use lemon juice, cut a lemon in half and rub it over the stained areas of your vase. Let it sit for a few minutes and then wipe off with a damp cloth. To use ketchup, squeeze some ketchup onto a soft cloth and rub it over the tarnished areas of your vase. Leave it for 15 minutes and then rinse off with warm water. To use vinegar and salt, mix equal parts of white vinegar and salt in a bowl. Dip a cloth in the solution and rub it over the stained areas of your vase. Rinse well with warm water. The final step is to dry your vase thoroughly before storing it or using it again. You can use a microfiber cloth, a hair dryer, or an oven to dry your vase completely. This will prevent any moisture from causing mold, stains, or cracks on your vase. By following these simple steps, you can keep your vase clean and beautiful for longer. Remember to always choose a cleaning method that matches your vase material and stain type, and to test it on a small area first if you are unsure. A clean vase will not only enhance the beauty of your flowers, but also make them last longer.